Wednesday, Southwest Montana, 530. Missy O'Malley is off. Matt Elwell has our forecast in a moment. Meantime, some late season primaries in Arizona and Florida. Give us a look at what's coming up in November. Political analysts will surely be eyeing the gubernatorial race in Florida, which will pit a progressive Democrat against a Republican backed by President Donald Trump. CNN's Andrew Spencer has more. Behind in the polls for most of his campaign, Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum surged to victory Tuesday in Florida's Democratic gubernatorial primary. Tonight we have shown the rest of the country that we can be the David in the situation where there's a Goliath. Backed by Senator Bernie Sanders, Gillum's progressive platform sets the stage for an ideological battle in a major presidential battleground state in November. Gillum will be facing the winner of the Republican primary, Congressman Ron DeSantis, who is backed by President Donald Trump. And I was able to talk to the president. I want to thank him for his support. I want to thank him for entrusting me with viewing me as somebody who could be a great leader for Florida. So, so thank you, Mr. President. Meanwhile, in Arizona, I'm humbled and honored to now stand before you for the very first time as your Republican nominee for the United States Senate. Congresswoman Martha McSally won the Republican nomination over two hardline conservatives in a race to replace retiring Senator Jeff Flake. She'll face Democratic Congresswoman Kirsten Sinema in November. The last days of that race had largely been overshadowed by the death of Arizona Senator John McCain. His seat in Congress will be filled by appointment by Republican Governor Doug Ducey. Ducey won a primary challenge on Tuesday. He will face Democrat David Garcia in November. I'm Andrew Spencer reporting. Now in Arizona, all three Republican winners were strong supporters of President Trump. Late in the race, McSally aired an ad featuring Trump calling her the real deal. She withdrew her core sponsorship of a bill that offered dreamers a path to citizenship, and she mimicked Trump's attacks on chain migration. 